Hey everyone, Mike P with another Mike's Military Up product update video. This time we're going to be doing something really cool that we're only going to do once a year from now on. That's the one of a kind extravaganza big sale with a bunch of cool stuff. I'm going to go over some of the items that are going to be available at the end of this week. And uh, there's plenty more, trust me. And uh, we're, we're just going to go through them right now because it's going to take a while if I start rambling. So I've got a Finnish M4055 steel helmet here. i got a couple of those going on. I'm just going to throw those over to the pile. We've got this helmet that Devin K and I ballistic tested earlier this year, this uh, Polish WZ50 steel helmet. So we'll be doing that. Like with these, like if you want an autograph because you're a YouTube viewer and you've seen this on the channel, I'd be happy to do that. No extra charge, of course. But we just do it to recoup a little bit of the money that it took to make those ballistic test videos, which is uh, pretty cool. Um, a Yugoslavian M5985 steel helmet with a bunch of cool graffiti on that. Uh, if you're if you're on my Instagram at Mike's Mil or Mike's underscore Militaria underscore US on Instagram, you would have seen that I made a reel about this already. So it, it would behoove you to go um, follow me there too as well. So that's a pretty cool piece that'll be available. A lot of you guys like this custom um, Yugoslavian slash um, Balkan stuff from the '90s with graffiti on it. We've got a couple of Pazgits, you know the M84 Pazgit helmets. I get a lot of requests for these. They're actually I can't get them wholesale, but once in a while I get um, one or one or two here in a lot of something. And that's why I uh, sell them during the one-of-a-kind sale. Moving through these guys, because you know how long these videos usually take. Uh, East German Air Force visor cap, size 57. That'll be available as well. Cool stuff. Nice reproduction. German M15 uh, Pickelhaube. I was going to say Stahlhelm. Incorrect. Mine are actually a little bit better than the other repros, because they actually don't have the giant square buckles and stuff. So it's pretty cool, and it's just fun to wear around. If you go to like an Oktoberfest celebration, people like these. There we go. Actually, didn't botch that throw. Um, yeah, so those of you guys that... I'll pick that up in a second. Anyway, so I've got these German Baltus uh, jungle boots here, which are really popular. These are unissued. I don't know why I missed these. I had a couple pairs sitting there in the in the uh, warehouse and found them when I was going through for one-of-a-kind items. So yeah, if you want a pair of these, I think I have a size 12 and 13 available. So I'll pick up this guy got a couple of these left. Uh, found these as well. When I go through the warehouse every year and do some what I call spring cleaning, I find these random things that I thought I was out of stock of, and I guess I still have a couple of them. So this is an Israeli M1 steel helmet. This one's kind of in rougher shape, but it's been used more and painted tan over the top of it. A lot of these shells were from the U.S. and stuff, and the liners are from the U.S. as aid in the 1960s. This one's got a bunch of writing on the inside on the sweatband and stuff, so that's pretty cool. All right, as far as clothing, we got a bunch of cool clothing too. So this is a Swiss Taz 90 uh, field shirt, and it's, I mean, these things are super rare. I had a bunch of them a while back. I don't know why I set these aside. I, feel, I, I was trying to probably keep them from my collection because I always have that problem, but ended up just realizing, hey, I need to thin out the collection and not keep as much stuff. But uh, I got a, several of those and some like uh, private purchase ones that are really, really weird with the same pattern. So those will be on there. And then this is a cool one. So this is a... This was in my personal collection. I was keeping this for myself, but again, my better half suggested that I kind of downsize because I've got enough crap and I've had enough crap for years, so I'll follow her advice. But anyway, so this is a British MTP camouflage parka, or smock they call it, and it's got Royal Marine Commando patches on there with the um, airborne jump wings and all that stuff, and it's pretty cool. And it's a size 190, 112, so it's like an extra large long. Really, it's between a large and an extra large, but like it's a long size, so it's a tall size. That's why I was keeping this, and then it's got, um, I believe that is Sergeant Major or Warrant Officer rank, I forgot. I know a lot of you Brits would be like, oh no mate, it's just rank, but I try. I can't know everything possibly. Um, Alright, so these were a pair of boots, um, the 1939 Mosh Stiefel that I got from a really good company in Europe, and they just didn't fit me because I didn't, my feet are big and wide, and there's like one size too small for me, so I'm actually getting rid of these. Uh, below what I paid for them because I did wear them once this summer when the grass was really wet and everything so they look like they're a little bit used so they're not technically new but they are I wore them once they're too tight so I'm gonna be selling these for below what I paid for them excellent quality if you're a German reenactor getting into reenacting or you just want a really cool pair of boots with the nice hobnails on it so those will be available as well and I hate to see those go but I can't wear them so they have to um, we'll save the, some of the best for last Got several of these uh, US DCU field blouses that were modified in the field. So they got these pockets up here right before the ACU actually came out in like 2005. These are being worn. They put Velcro on them for patches and stuff, a lot of uh, pilots and things. This one's actually one of the older models. It's got the uh, hip or waist adjustments. But yeah, I got a bunch of these that'll be on the site, which would be pretty cool. 
Now, this is one that a lot of you guys were commenting on Instagram. Oh, it's a Japanese um, self-defense force uh, field shirt. I said, yes, it is. So yeah, this will be on there as long as well as a pair of pants that's in a little bit more rough shape, but again, the price will reflect that. So if you wanted a pair of those pants in size 34 inch waist for a long time, then you don't mind there's a couple tears and repairs on there, you're gonna be really happy. But this thing is in immaculate shape. So the tags are missing for whatever reason, I don't know why, but I mean, it's a size 36 inch chest. So if you're a smaller guy or a, a chick that you know wears that size, you're gonna be in luck because these things are super hard to get stateside, as you guys know. And then these, a couple of these popped up in this random batch of DPCU that I got last year. These are made in China, it says, but they're like vests that are in the same exact DPCU pattern. And I don't know what these were made for. Maybe they're hunting vests or whatever, but I'm still going to be selling them. They're not going to be that expensive. Cool stuff. I just don't want to hang on to it because I have no use for it. Best for last, as you guys have probably seen on Instagram, is these uh, US M84 Pazgit vests in olive drab. So this are all green rather. So I got two of these and one size small, one size medium. These are extremely rare. Um, most, I, I, I literally thought all Pazgit vests were in the M81 Woodland pattern, but apparently they're not. Apparently the US Navy used these. A lot of um, reporters that are reporting in war zones use these and uh, foreign militaries use these. This was used by a foreign military and there's, I don't know how many of these were made, but they're not common at all. I definitely hadn't even seen them before. I got these, so um, yeah, the NSN is, is sharpied out on these because they were used by a foreign military, but the last batch that I got, they were all dated 1983 and 1984, so if you're a US collector, especially a body armor collector, you're gonna wanna be on board with these, or uh, on, um, you're, gonna be, you're gonna be one of the first people to like, you're going to want to be one of the first people to know about this when it hits the site. There we go, I can talk people, we're good. I'll also be selling this, this um, Africa Core replica pith helmet, which is fun, it's like a size 60, it's probably a size 61 actually, but fits me well, I just, again, it's one of those things that I bought, I can't hang on to it because I got too much crap already. And then, uh, one of the coolest things is like, I had some of these custom made that I'm wearing, this UCP Delta, cut in the third pattern, US Jungle Fatigue pattern. Now, the ones they cut were made for somebody that's about six foot seven, six foot six, six foot seven, wears an extra large, right? On me, it looks like a dress, but, this is, they finally got it right the last time. So I'll be selling those and uh, one of them's got some issues because it was a prototype, but the other one is gonna look really cool. So if you're a guy, like a big and tall guy, like bigger than me, taller than me, and you're struggling finding surplus stuff and really cool things, you're in luck. It happens to be your day. It's a red letter day because yeah, that those will be hitting the site and you can actually get something that fits you if you're very tall with a long torso and it's an awesome and rare camouflage pattern and it's a great cut. So. Those will be on the site too. Hopefully this is under 10 minutes, who knows? But uh, yeah, so these are gonna be hitting the site publicly on Friday, the 27th, right? 27th of, I don't know, I, I screwed this up. But in a few days, right? A few days from this hitting the site, so, or the uh, YouTube. Um, and then uh, if you want to get a little bit earlier access, perhaps, maybe, go to the mikesmilitary.com and sign up for the Surplus Signaler, my newsletter. And uh, the link is below to that in the description. Just go to mikesmilitary.com, the pop-up will come up, and uh, you'll be able to sign up for the newsletter, no problem. And you might perhaps get early access to these really cool one-of-a-kind items. Who knows? But yeah, publicly they'll be there on Friday. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and we'll see you on the next Mike's Military video.